I'm feeling extra productive at the moment, so I'm going to do a review of a film franchise for you guys. I have always been interested in Killjoy. This is the complete and total franchise, plus the uh, newest one in the series, Killjoy Goes to Hell. Yeah, I know, they went there. Killjoy, the original, is about a voodoo clown demon that can be conjured to right the wrongs done to the conjurer. The whole mythology of Killjoy gets fleshed out once Full Moon really takes over, um, because the first film uh, was done by Big City Pictures. They were the production company that actually put it uh, together, but Full Moon came in and uh, distributed the film. So anyway, Big City Pictures is responsible for the first two installments, and um, Big City Pictures doesn't give you a whole lot to go on. This guy conjures Killjoy, he's killed by a gang, but Killjoy um, keeps him alive or something to that effect. It's a little unclear and a little fuzzy, and uh, Killjoy uh, starts killing all of the gang members and uh, is trying to uh, put this guy, I believe his name is Daryl, uh, together with the chick that he loves. Not a terrible movie, um, but not a great movie by any stretch of the imagination. Um, it's a little boring, a little jaunty. Killjoy's played by Angeli, uh, Angelise Vargas, and uh, he is a, a black guy. Uh, and uh, has the uh, funny comedic black guy ki uh, kind of uh, wit and timing and plays uh, Killjoy as a very ghetto clown. Killjoy 2, complete and total opposite. The second movie follows these prisoners who are on a kind of like, not really a work release program, but they're being taken out into the woods to do some community service. They um, uh, find this voodoo priestess uh, in a house and Killjoy's trying to kill all of them and, and she fights him with magic voodoo and he fights her with magic voodoo and um, they end up thwarting Killjoy. The uh, mythology of how to get rid of Killjoy, the incongruence is absolutely ridiculous. Uh, from one movie to the next, it, it makes no sense. The second movie in general, it's not their fault, it's just an abysmal uh, film. It's terrible. And Trent Haig, who uh, continues to play Killjoy, is atrocious in this movie as well. He's always laughing, and it's, uh, it's annoying. Uh, I would not recommend it. Here's where the franchise actually gets interesting. Killjoy is trapped in a mirror, a la uh, the Wishmaster. As you can see, there are three other clowns here, and they are Killjoy's buddies who get conjured up to help him um, capture souls of these people who are trapped in this house. The professor in this movie who's trying to, uh, who does all these studies on Killjoy, is actually the father of the guy who originally conjured him in the first movie. There's a lot of interesting deaths. There's some CGI deaths that I didn't even, you know, really um, have to bash on. <laughs> no pun intended. If you see the movie, you'll know what I'm talking about. Also, Trent Haig as Killjoy here becomes really kind of funny. And then we get to the final and the newest installment, which is Killjoy Goes to Hell. Killjoy is sent to the devil's courtroom. Basically, Killjoy's put on trial. He's prosecuted because he's uh, being accused of not being a good enough demon. So Trent Haig as Killjoy, um, you know, really comes into his own in, in the third movie. And then in the, the and Killjoy Goes to Hell, he's absolutely fantastic. Fatty Boop is a, uh, a clown a uh, succubus who uh, helps Killjoy and is kind of in love with Killjoy. Played by the fantastic actress Victoria Demare. Yeah, Victoria Demare. She's hilarious in the third movie. She's even funnier in the, uh, the, the, the latest installment. There's a big battle at the end uh, with demons and the clowns and all kinds of craziness. By far and large, Killjoy Goes to Hell is very well made. It's super funny in my opinion. Start with Killjoy 3, it's good enough on its own, and then you'll really enjoy Killjoy Goes to Hell if you like that sort of kind of controlled chaos thing, which Full Moon um, does well here. If you want to really uh, take a look at Killjoy, you can go online to um, uh, fullmoononline.com. Maybe next time I'll do Ginger Dead Man. Woo! Hey guys, like if you did, comment, and subscribe so we can do this again sometime.